Hey, what's up? My name is Daniela and welcome to a new video. Today I'm here with a video that is very unexpected for me because it's a Readathon TBR. So I didn't think I was going to participate in any readathons in May because I did three in April. I did the Elves Magic Readathon and the way I did it was amazing but also very intense. And then I did the Reading Rush and do a 24 hour readathon. So it was a lot and yeah, I thought I was going to take a break from readathons. But then I saw that there is going to be a mini version of the Contemporary Readathon, which is one of my favorite readathons. As the name suggests, this is a readathon all about reading contemporary books, which is one of my favorite genres. And it is a super laid back readathon. There are a couple of prompts, but yeah, it's very chill. So yeah, I participated in the regular standard week long contemporary readathon in February and I had a blast. So yeah, when I saw the announcement, I knew that I had to make an exception and take part in this readathon. So Contemporary Thon is hosted by Chelsea from Chelsea Dueling Reads, by Julie from Pages and Pens and Natasha from My Reading is Out. So I will link their announcement videos in the description. This mini round takes place from May 22nd to May 25th. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday, four days of reading. And there are three challenges that you can do if you feel like it. And the first one is about the color of the cover, which is something that happens every round. And this round the color is peach, so whatever, like peach tones, orangey, pinkish, something like that. And then we have a short book that has fewer than 250 pages. And the third one is a fun book, so either a book that sounds like fun, has a fun theme, or that you anticipate loving. I definitely want to try to fulfill all the challenges and there are four books on my TBR, which I don't know if I will be able to get to all of them, but I would love to. And the first book on my TBR is Well Met by Jen Luca. So this is a book I recently hauled and this I'm using for the prompt of a fun book because it sounds like a very fun, lighthearted read, perfect for warmer weather. And this is about two people who meet at a renaissance fair. I don't really know much about it and it is a very random book. Like I heard about it and I randomly bought it and I'm not even that into renaissance fair things. I think that all I know about renaissance fairs come from Gilmore Girls, so yeah. <laughs> But it definitely looks like fun, so I hope I'm going to love it. The second book on my TBR is Daisy Does It Herself by Gracie Blair. This could count for the peachy cover, although it is more orangey, but we're just going to count it. And it is also a short book because it has fewer than 200 pages. And this is about a woman from London who moves to the country and she starts building her life there, but then her own life her London life is calling, like London calling. And she has to decide if she's going to stay in the country or if she will come back to London. And this theme is something that is definitely interesting to me because right now I live in a big city but I come from a small town and especially in this situation I'm thinking about like moving to a quieter place. I got this book from Netgilly without knowing much about it but it does sound really interesting so I hope I will enjoy this one as well. Next we have another Netgilly book which is good because I really need to start working on those Netgilly books and it's When Polly Met Ole by Zoe May. And I feel that this could count as a peachy or like tan tones as well. But maybe my perception of color is just weird, but yeah, I'm counting it. It's also described as a rom-com for fans of Sophie Kinsella, so it could count as a fun book. In this book we follow Polly, who owns a dating agency, but her own dating life is not doing that great. But then she becomes interested in Ollie, who is the head of a rival agency, so I guess drama ensues. And this sounds really fun. I really enjoy seeing online businesses and online communication and stuff like that in books. So it sounds definitely like a fun book. And last book on my TBR is also an Edgelly book and it's The Spare Bedroom by Elizabeth Neep. So the premise of this book is intriguingly absurd. 
It's about a woman who at the moment doesn't have a job or a place to live and she bumps into her ex-boyfriend and she starts staying with him. But the problem is that he has a girlfriend who also lives at the same place. So I'm really not sure how this is going to go, how the author is going to <laughs> work with it. But yeah, it piqued my interest. So I got it and now I have to read it. <laughs> and yeah, it will either be like very weird or fun. We'll see. So this is my whole TBR. My reading has actually been pretty slow this month so far after all of the April readathons. So I'm really excited to jump into this readathon and just read as much as I can. Let me know if you're participating in this mini round of Contemporary Thon, what is on your TBR or if you read any of these books or just feel free to leave me an emoji. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. In the description you will find links to my social media if you want to follow me there. But that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!